Hey, we're just in Brawl here again. And after going through One Piece 908, we're going to go with the Fruit of 267. Part 3 of the Head Springs arc, Hot Springs case files we have here, which is someone making me. And it looks like we've had an incident kind of occur into their old temple last week's chapter. So let's we'll see how that turns out. Looks like we're going to have, we have a burst. We have like one basic of a culprit, but oh, excuse me again. I'm very sorry. My nose is covered on snot here. I just went to the doctor to get a prescription, but I'm not taking it just yet. <laughs> So sorry being with me with my nose and my voice because of this. So with all that being said from last week's chapter, we have a potential suspect in the murders. Also that the incident is gonna occur because we're gonna come very close to this hotel that they're staying at. So let's we'll just we'll see what happens. Elsewhere, Aaron and Hisako are having it. We just received a report from Tokyo Megami. <coughs> Excuse me. It appears they unfortunately have not yet close Close some of this matter. Well, they were saying that it goes simply or quickly. But Aaron is someone. I guess I still don't, still don't understand. This is appearance isn't really an, off, of an issue for the elite head to deal with personally. It doesn't even seem like something a chef would be able to do with anything about it. <coughs> under, perhaps, under usual circumstances, you would, you would be right. <coughs> sound, effect, sound effect put in that panel. Someone could. That sound was from the kitchen. <laughs> okay, they know something in the R. They see an R on the floor, apparently. <laughs> the Lily, are you okay? <laughs> ah, she's alive. Forgive me. My skills were not enough. Chief, what in the world happened here? Beats me. All I know is that I guess Bart's in here and challenged us. Arm shaking it off. <laughs> to a Shokugeki. Huh? The backpacker? <laughs> so it was. So it was. So apparently it was going to hit. Part 3 of the Midnight. Let's say he's the culprit. He actually beat him in Shokugeki to close out all the other hotels. I see. So you're the one behind the series of strange happenings in these parts. Shogageki? Who are you? What do you want? <coughs> it's very simple. Can't help. I very much long love the local rustic atmosphere of the Hot Spring Hotels. However, I just can't stand the food. He, huh? That's his reason. Do you understand? Customers like me are king, are king sauce. But basically, any at countries and hotels like this, one, their food is so bland. The only special thing about the ingredients is that they're fresh. They should be serving carefully selected. Okay, he's gonna like exactly why people should be. <coughs> Get yeah, sorry, he was just explaining why people should be. People, some guests are treated as kings. Should be treat, give food, give food to be treated as kings. <coughs> <coughs> That's what ultimate psych. <coughs> Damn it again for my nose here is really fucking this whole thing up. They'll make only food I tell them to. That one they have better motto motto of good hospitality. Yeah, that's, cra that's crazy. Tyler goes right. How in the world did you ever think you'd get away with treating treat it like this? How? Why? Did I say? It's obvious. Because the glory is the poet. There's Shokugeki's, the very good super system I need. She also went to a Shokugeki and you can fulfill your heart's desires. Now lately, the head chef, chef, they're all so proud of their hotel, you see. I just need to egg the bottom of the how you bet. Let me take the bait. How's the other chef with Shokugeki? He doesn't seem like a graduate of Tutsuki. So this is the dish you made. So gross is something in the dish. <coughs> Whoa! Lobster for gras, caviar. Lobster for gras, caviar. The, this plate's crowned with top class ingredients. And the white, and that white caviar. It's almost caviar. He served that. 
My dude, that is amazing. For the exceedingly rare albino variety of surgeon is called Abbas. Meaning diamond. So that's what Abbas means. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about my nose again. <laughs> this is sort of good that benefits a king saw. And that dish is, is not just full of high quality ingredients. Only a first rate chef or someone beyond that will be able to create such flavor. Indeed. That is my ingredients, but it's my skills too. Are quite gorgeous and cute. Cute. Takes a spoonful, flips them in the air, and oh, oh, whoa, whoa, this guy just takes a knife and just sw <coughs> slices and dices like oh, there's nothing. Look at her precise slicing. He doesn't even have to look. The diameter of that calorie is less than three millimeters, and he cut every last one of them in two in, in two in midair. <laughs> Lesser shot fraud liquid gold is its name. Translation there is a dish where cooked meat or fish is served with a, with a rice sauce made with cream and wine vinegar. Would you love to taste as well? How about it, skillful boy Miss Geisha? You take a bite of it, let's see how it is for these two. What? The view of Bobby and the saltiness of the caviar are in complete harmony with the plump loves lobster and melty sauce. Every time water pops in my tongue or teeth, their taste pulls me deeper into the dish. And precisely because he cut the cabbage before sprinkling it on the dish, its flavor melts perfectly into the smooth charfroy. It melts soundlessly in my mouth, spreading its luxurious mellowness throughout my body. It's delicious and amazing. It's as my mind and body unable to, unable to resist the pressure of the gorgeousness. Oh, okay. <laughs> Basket giggly pleasure. I just have to say, I just. <laughs> I need to take a moment. <laughs> My uncle's help me out here, but. I think of that there are two radicals and many in the middle, and a bathtub surrounding and muddy. Anything in money. You know what? Good on you for going that far, but I love the fact that you cover cover the nipples. But this is a little bit far beyond. I don't know said Maggie would be in this kind of position, but I guess she was swimming in a pool. She was swimming in honey at one point. So again, top notch on that one, but Jesus Christ, man, I was not expecting that. Go on you for that. Get out of you! Get out of you! <laughs> what I was just thinking of, and you were just trying to realize that. For tasting the dish, I promised myself I'd never acknowledge it. I just gave all out at once. I guess you're currently wearing specific degrees like that. We're basically powerless. <laughs> Excuse me again. So, back at uh, Tuskegee Academy. Okay, I suppose you call them the dark chefs. Dark? The average of the world is quite different than the public water of the light, where we reside. And as if that's the light, you quote. For example, gathering at a gathering where the dignitaries of various countries meet behind closed doors far away from the public eye, or perhaps the illegal parties of the, of the underworld. In other words, the events for which the chefs of normal restaurants could not used. <laughs> Demand for chefs to fill the these secret tables will but fair has increased drastically in recent years. In recent years, excuse me. <laughs> and the fact that the underground market has fallen under purview of a select group of chefs. <laughs> Hooligans pushed out of lower society but resolved to aggregate and uncaringly pursue their selfish desires or steal chefs ready to risk running off all the law <coughs> to create even more delicious dishes. This group of chefs who made no appearance in the public world cuisine 
turn an immense profit in the shattered corners of the world. People called up the Midnight Chefs for the Cuisine Noir. Oh! The Cuisine Noir. Oh, I like that name. Those who wield their knives in the dark nights of, in the dark nights of the Gourmet World. <coughs> so as every age they're saying, too, we get to deal with some dark chefs rolling around in this world. Can... That's what people we're dealing with? Are you sure there's, they're, they're the ones behind this? Yes. And by some cruel chance, they just discovered the show of Geki. They could have me left alone. So Geki is the pride of Tutsi Academy. It fears that attempt to use this as particularly has to have their way with this country. Shall we met with bl shall we met with blood and iron? In my world, if your food can satisfy your guests or ru ruins the event, it's it's not unheard to be killed on the spot. She was shut down. Compared to that, I should is very easy. <coughs> Even if you lose, they don't kill you. That's a walk in the park for me. I'll use this to bring the ultimate psycho hospitality to this entire country. <sighs> uh, excuse me? Can I say something? Huh? Hey, <laughs> like, uh, I think you must understand what hospitality is. And the one who would stood up to that is Megumi? Yes, Megumi! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, uh, of all the people to step up, Megami comes in, and it makes perfect sense. If we're gonna get a next shadow having a short gig between Megami and this guy, this dark chef, do you have to tell him? Yes, please. And I am still tilted the fact that you've gave her the 10 C in the elite end, when she should have been at least higher. If she, no, yeah, we have short We're hopefully gonna get one next week. So I hope we get that then. So until then, leave a like, subscribe, call us your little friend. And again, we'll get for bearing my voice and my nose. And again, I'll see you next time. Later's.